I'm on TRT. I've had gynecomastia surgery. Test levels around high 1100s. Okay, so I know most people in here, you know, they say like I've had gynecomastia surgery. They, you know, usually get everything cut out where they get most of it cut out as far as that goes. Um, but you know, if you've got it fully cutting out, basically, right? Um, you usually will not get gynecomastia again. But test levels around 1100, which is pretty high. Um, the thing about it is, is estrogen conversion is still there. It doesn't stop converting estrogen. So you could be a little watery. I'm, I'm telling you, you probably get better results if you're on a national along with testosterone, depending on what it is. Um, I've just seen this. I've seen this with guys who've had it all cut out and they're like, I don't need it. I don't need a aromatized inhibitor because I'm not going to get gynecomastia again. Well, that's great and dandy. But the thing about it is, is it doesn't stop converting into estrogen. So you're still going to get sensitivity, emotional, maybe aggression, uh, water retention. And this water retention could lead to high blood pressure too as well. So it's not just about getting man boobs and gynecomastia. That is a major effect that can happen when estrogen is too high for long periods of time. But with this, we also want to look at other negative side effects that could possibly be going on. And that is why I'm saying the anastrozole, not just for gynecomastia. And at 1100 as a test level, you're a little bit above the range depending on what lab you went to. If you went to LabCorp, I think 964 is the highest of the range. So, And it used to be 1150, so I'm not going to say this is high for that, but it would be higher on their level. Um, on Quest, it's right within range. So it really depends what lab you went to and who ran the blood on you.